Well, I hope you enjoyed that montage, guys. As you can see, the tank is really coming along now and slowly starting to fill out with coral. I'm a big believer in patience being the key to success, especially when it comes to reefing, and I think it's definitely paying off for me now. Um, now, it hasn't always been fun in games for me. In fact, it's actually been a lot of hard work fighting cyanobacteria, dinos, and green hair algae for the last four months. Pretty much straight. When I initially set up the tank, I had the normal ugly phase with diatoms, which the cleanup crew took care of in the natural tank cycling process. Around the two month mark, I started seeing cyanobacteria in my rocks, that red horrible slime algae. I treated that uh, initially, uh, the outbreak with chemiclean, which resulted in the cyano being defeated. However, I took one of my favourite pieces of coral down with it, which was the big finger leather coral, you've seen that in the montage. Now I know ChemiClean states it is completely reef safe, however, after doing some research, it was clear this isn't the first time people have lost coral when treating their tanks with ChemiClean. That being said, it was definitely effective for the red cyano, and as hard as it was seeing my finger leather shed away into literally nothing, I was glad to see the end of the cyano. So just when I thought I was done and dusted with that, a month later I noticed a whole new problem, which was green hair algae, it was taking over my whole rock work, as well as a few spots of dinos. Um, when I checked my parameters, I'll, I'll put the parameters on the screen for you, this is what the parameters I had at the top. Uh, the alk was a tad bit low, which I steadily increased back to 9 over a week or so. Like that was an easy fix, because it was just 0.5 mil of um, alk a day, uh, which was dosing a day, and got it back to 9 in about a week and a half. So it was just regular increase. Uh, my phosphates were low, and so were my nitrates. Extra nutrients were not the issue here. Uh, that left only one other cause uh, for the for the green hair algae and the dinos is most likely the lighting. After a quick discussion with my LFS, I completed a full two-day blackout on the tank, then changed the lighting schedule from 11 hours, which it was. So it used to ramp up and then ramp down during the day for 11 hours. I brought that down to 7 hours and put it on blues only, which made a pretty significant impact initially anyway. Uh, I then replaced the activated carbon with fresh carbon, uh, which I bought for my LFS. I stuck to the 20% weekly water changes, so I started scrubbing the rocks with the toothbrush and, and manually removed the uh, green hair algae every weekend. I did this for a month straight and started seeing less and less of the GHA. Uh, and that's where we are now. No more cyano, no more dinos, and no more GHA for the last two months now, so I am free for that. In regards to testing my water, I test my water every week using Salaford's test kits. Uh, and once every three weeks, I get a water test done with my LFS to get a really close, accurate reading as much as possible. Uh, I've also started doing 50% water changes once a month, which keeps my nitrates and phosphates in check, especially after feeding corals once a week as well. In addition to that, uh, to the above, I noticed I noticed the flow in my tank was strong on the left side where the wave maker was situated. Uh, however, low on the other side of the tank, which is the right side. The flow was pretty uneven in the tank, so I moved the wave maker to the right glass panel up high to create gas exchange number one, as well as creating an even flow from back to front of the tank. I don't run a skimmer. Honestly, with a small filter chamber, I'm limited to what kind of skimmer I could run on this tank. And the small nano skimmers just aren't good enough in my opinion. Uh, I make up for the skimmer with weekly water changes and replacing carbon every three weeks. Um, as you can see, my water's pretty pristine, clear, um, and my phosphates are low and nitrates are. There's no nitrate issues. So yeah guys, I've had my fair share of issues. However, I feel I've overcome most of them, and if they ever do come back, I am pretty confident I know how to deal with them now. Um, at this stage, the tank is only half stocked in my opinion. I plan on rescaping the left side of the tank, which will create more real estate to add more corals. And on a special and a final note, um, I'm actually about to hit 100 subscribers on the channel. I want to just take a moment to thank all of you again for liking, commenting and supporting the channel. Uh, when I first started the channel a year ago, I didn't think I would even have 10 subscribers. And to be approaching 100 subs, uh, I'm just totally happy and it really motivates me to keep making more videos for all of you. Thank you all again for your support and I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one.